Hello everyone, Sarah Payton here with a little bit more self-resonance about being addicted to the news in this moment. Whatever page it is that you've found that you're constantly refreshing to look at the latest updates about the coronavirus and about the world and about people's movements, whew, do you need acknowledgement that there's a desperation for understanding. And so there's a way that you are almost addicted to getting the latest updates as soon as they happen. Are you looking for solid information so that you can figure out how to predict and understand what's happening? Do you long for the way that information can make you feel more safe? Every time there's a new update, are you both horrified and hopeful? Horrified because you, you don't want what's happening to be happening and there's a level of overwhelm and impossibility to even be able to comprehend the enormity. And then hopeful because maybe this piece of news will tell you how to keep yourself safe or what's happening in your community or what's happening in your country, or what's happening in another country for somebody that you love. Do you need acknowledgement that right now the news is the only real source of these bits of information and that each solid bit of information has a quality of being almost golden, like a little nugget that you carry around and tell other people, we've discovered this now. We know how long it lasts on metal. We know that we need to disinfect all of these, all of these little gems of understanding about how to protect the people we love, how to be safe, and how, uh, how to take care of ourselves. And do you just need acknowledgement that it's that the quality of the refreshing of the screen is a little like, um, is a little like uh, being one of those laboratory rats with a deep bow to our laboratory rat friends who have lost their lives for us. But that there's something like, it's a lever. It's a, it's a variable reward lever. You never know what's going to come when you refresh the screen. And it might just be something that saves you. Do you long to be able to disengage and take breaks from it, though? Does your nervous system need to have moments of calm and replenishment and self-connection and moments when you know that you're not in a porous state to the news about the coronavirus, to know that you can catch up, that you can take breaks of an hour, three hours, 10 hours, and you can go back and look again and you can catch up and learn more? Do you need to have flexibility and responsiveness in yourself instead of a rigid pattern of lever pushing? Do you long for freedom from your own compulsion? If you do long for freedom from your own compulsion, you can look for a vow. If I have a vow, it would be, I, Sarah, solemnly swear to my essential self that I will keep refreshing the screen every moment in order to be able to save my life and save the life of the people I love, the lives, no, ma no matter the cost to myself. And then we say, Sarah, is that a good vow? Would you like to be able to do this a little less often, not compulsively every minute? Oh, there's a breath. I would like that. Sarah, I release you from this vow. And I revoke this contract. And I can feel a deeper contract underneath. And this one is, I will stay tuned to what my mother is doing so that I can have predictability. Oh, it gives me goosebumps. I will stay vigilant and attuned. I will try to catch all the news in order to make sure that I'm safe. To baby Val, baby Sarah, I release you from this vow. You're not there anymore. I revoke this contract. And instead, 
I give you my blessing. to deeply and fully relax and to let yourself flow in and out of the flow of information and gather what you need at regular times that don't stress your body and your mind and your brain and your nervous system and your immune system. All right, love to you all, my darlings, and we'll talk to you tomorrow.